All right, start of day two. Beautiful day. Starting off on the cattle gate. Indeed. Well, that was a pretty fun stage. I got eight out of, I don't know, 10. So I'm starting to feel a little bit. Sounds good. Yep. Sure. As soon as the gun goes off, everything moves, and they're like little fart in front of it. What's your height you want on the tripod? How tall do you want it? However you want it. Just not prone. I just can't be on my belt. I can be on my knees. Yep. Knees, sitting, kneeling, standing. Simple enough. Enough. Got it how you want it? Yes, sir. Pick it up. Engage. Yeah. 
You gonna park? Impact, good run. 12 seconds left, good clock management. All right, so just finished up the tripod stage. It was actually, uh, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Uh, one of the things I'd always done before was held wind, but a lot of guys are dialing wind. I've seen a lot of that at the match. So you might go ahead and put two or four tents in from the get-go. So just some information to share with you guys because it's not uncommon to actually dial wind. All right, guys, for this next one, you have to move five different positions from that rock. We're shooting high up on that ridge. Of fire. I do. Shooter, stand by. Engage. Ready. Ready. Yeah, Shooter engaged. Four, you felt like one for two was, was pretty good? One, Probably two. two. That way. One going that way. Probably two tenths of wind, like Paul said. Yeah. <laughs> when it was, just messes with me. That one that was going back. I and pick! And pick! Impact! Okay, shooters are ready. Okay, understand the course of fire. Yes. Backup spotters ready? Yeah. Okay, and begin!
back. All right, guys, so I finished the match, didn't get DQ'd. I feel pretty decent about how I finished. Um, we don't know. We'll see. We'll take a look at walk the prize table, see what's going on. But, you know, what I wanted to do was kind of give a perspective from other first-time PRS guys. So I've got uh, two people with me, one you know, Rick, and then the other one is a gentleman uh, named Beatty. He is from Utah. He, this was his first match. He actually shot a Howa 1500. He's been doing a lot of shooting. I think he said he has like 3,500 rounds or 4,000 4, rounds in that barrel. It was something crazy. But So here's someone that's really done a lot of practice. I want to hear their first-hand perspectives on what they thought about the match, what they should have done to prepare more. And remember, keep in mind, this is one of the hardest PRSs in the country. Uh, that's what I've been told by even some of the pro shooters, so let's get their perspective. What do you think? What was the biggest thing in there? Biggest thing, uh, don't come with any expectations. Um, it's a very holy experience. Um, thought I was going to do better, but I did not. Um, biggest thing here is, you know, just ask a lot of questions. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, now, do you normally shoot somewhere where there's a little bit of weight here for most time? Yeah, um, I, I, I actually here about a year and a half ago, so uh, definitely a different environment from where I'm from. Um, a lot of places to shoot. It's windy all over Utah. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the stage is, what was your favorite stage? Favorite stage, probably the longer range ones. Uh, number, I think number 14, which goes out to about 1,000. Biggest takeaway is, do you like your chassis? Do you want to like, upgrade, do the old PRS style? Go for it, like, uh, you know, get crazy, I, get crazy. Get crazy or, uh, <laughs> I don't want to go too crazy yet. Go in the uh, rabbit hole and spend lots of money. Yeah, I'm gonna. Have, you know, everyone is gonna have to be careful with that. Um, so, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, maybe maybe a new barrel. Um, you know, I, uh, I have over 5,000 rounds through my my rifle. So, um, new barrel after that. Maybe a couple different bags. But um, I think the best thing to do is to work with what you have first, and then try to improve from there. Yeah, I was gonna ask, but there's one item you wish you would have had or bought prior to the match. What do you think it was? Because there's a lot of little gadgetry that I saw out there, and I'm like, oh, I wish I would have had one of those. Uh, maybe a, uh, a dope card holder. Um, I, I can see how, um, you know, you can check your dope. And on the rifle or on the band? Or on, on the actual rifle. Uh, one that actually goes around the skull, uh, you know, so you, can, you don't uh, take your eyes off the, the direction of the target. Um, I kept on having to look down, then have to keep, keep on readjusting, so that... that it kind of came from that. Were you running? Were you running like Straylock, or were you running Kestrel, or what were you using for data? Because uh, <laughs> there's a lot of change in weather. Yeah, I've I've used um, Kestrel for my uh, squad mates. Um, used my ballistic apps. I used the Hornady app. Um, I think uh, a couple other ones, but uh, you know, just trying to see which one uh, came close to what I shot at the previous <laughs> stages. You know, which one was the best one? Since <laughs> I kind of want to know. You know, I and with my with my load, I think the best one for me is the Hornady app. Um, it, it came closest. Um, not not really surprised by it, but kind of surprised with the whole experience, though. So. Any, <laughs> any other thoughts before we wrap this up? Um. Um, ask questions. Uh, you know, make sure to let everyone know that uh, you're brand new. If you're new, um, ask a lot of questions. There are a lot of guys out here who are uh, willing to help. So, um, very, very humbling experience. So that's um, the word I was looking for. I oh, was yeah. waiting for that word because oh, yeah. I was, I was, I was <laughs> sort of. Yeah. My yeah, expectations guys. was. <laughs> I appreciate it, Beatty. Big thanks. Thank Shout you. out. And Rick, of course, we will finish up later on. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that review of the 2020 Hornady PRC out in Woodruff, Utah. Ended up finishing 96 out of 182 shooters, so right at that 50% percentile that I was shooting for. One of the things I forgot to mention was the gift bag. Everybody that participated uh, in this event actually shot the event, got a LaRue Tactical AR trigger. I also was able to walk away with a hard case Magneto Speed, the V3. So, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon.